uh, cherry blossom double flowering on its own rootstock. We're going to do a clean knife. We're going to wring the bark. Uh, this process is actually internodal, in between the nodes, but if you want to uh, do it just underneath the node as well, it's fine. Again, you just wring it, take about an inch of the bark off all the way around. Slice it up. Remove the bark. And again, the key to this is to remove all that cambium that's underneath. So, back of the knife for the... Let's give it a bit of a scrape all the way around anyway, right down, remove all that green all the way around. Next job is we're going to paste it with a bit of rooting powder. Don't overdo it all the way around, especially up around the very top part here, that's where all your roots are going to form. Very simply, get your cutting globe. Have it ready, prepared. You can use, uh, I just use a compost. You can, you can put in perlite. You can use sphagnum moss. Um, and another good tip, if you're actually afraid that it may dry out, uh, you can actually put in those little water gels. You can get them out of children's diapers or nappies. Uh, again, you just put a few or two or three into it. Bring up your cutting globe. You're going to place it around, clip it on. You're going to face the red then towards the sun, and that will stop any algae from building up uh, on that side. Again, you'll be able to see all the roots from the other side. Grab this one, the roots will form on this particular one down here, down, this, uh, down on the bottom end of here. Okay, we're going to come over here. Here's one I've done earlier. I'm just going to nip it off. Okay, it's a good size. I'm going to remove the globe. As you see it has its roots now. I don't like disturbing it. You can see all the roots that are there with the peat moss after falling out. Okay, so what we do there is we just make a hole into our pot and we're going to place it into it. This one is going to need to be staked, so it's going to have to put a stake in beside it just to keep it upright. Place it in a nice shaded spot beside a hedge or underneath a hedge. Water it daily for the next few days until all the roots fill into the pot and then you can transplant it down into the garden. Uh, cherry blossoms take about 10 to 12 weeks to form. Again, you've got a lovely sized plant. That the tree is already about two to three years uh, advanced. Uh, you can cut off some of the little smaller branches, uh, leave the leader. Uh, you can stake up the leader so that it's nice and straight. That'll become a beautiful tree in a, in, in a, in a few years in the garden. Perfect, lovely. Thank you very much for that.